Okay, so hi everyone, my name is Francis Laniel and I will present you my work about adding an eBPF ready kernel 5.10 for Minikube. So, first of all, what is Minikube? According to the readme, Minikube implements a local Kubernetes cluster and Minikube primary goals are to be the best tools for local Kubernetes application development and to support all Kubernetes features that fit. So, basically, to deploy a local Kubernetes, Minikube offers you a free driver. You have the known one, you have the Docker one, which uses Docker container to deploy Kubernetes, and you have the KVM one, which will use a virtual machine to deploy Kubernetes locally. In the remaining of this presentation, we will focus on this one. So, I wanted to test a cap the capability cat BPF, which was added in kernel 5.7. Sadly, the kernel provided by Minikube is version 4.19. So, I would like to bump the version of the kernel provided by the Minikube VM. To build the Minikube image, Minikube use buildroot. Buildroot is, according to the website, a simple, efficient, and easy to use tool to generate embedded Linux system through cross compilation. Okay. Even though Buildroot is targeted to generating embedded system, it can also be used to generate virtualization-ready image, for example, with the Make, QMU, x86, 64, DevConfig. So, basically, what I did is that I run Make Menu Config, which enables you to um, configure Buildroot to generate a, an image. And I bumped the BR2 Linux kernel version for 4.19 to 5.10.67. Sadly, I had a problem during the build. Indeed, this problem was generated by sysdig. It was a problem due to this version of sysdig, which was 0.23.1. So I bumped it to 0.27.1. I was able to get an image. Sadly, it doesn't, it doesn't boot. So, I run make Linux menu config to add config to the kernel running inside the image. The first option I need to use was config tmpfs because the init inside the image just tries to mount um, to mount a directory as tmpfs. The second one was config pci to be able to use the Ethernet uh, network inside the image, and the last one was config bridge net filter. To be because cube admin actually needs a file under proc slash proc which is added by this configuration. And at this point, I was able to get a kernel, uh, an image with kernel 5.10. Sadly, I also want to use eBPF option. So I added the following option, and this time I also had a problem with building the image. Indeed, when you run, when you try to build a kernel with config debug info BTF, the kernel will realize on the tool called PAO, which wasn't inside build. So what I did is that I added a recipe to build PAO before building the kernel. And at this time, I was able to get an eBPF ready image with the kernel 5.10. So to conclude, now an eBPF ready kernel 5.10 for Minikube is available. Sysdig bug was fixed in upstream build root, and also a PL package was added to upstream build root. So if you have an, e an SBC somewhere and that you want to do eBPF on your SBC, you can now do it with upstream build root. As future work, I would like this work to be merged in upstream build root. Sadly, for the moment, it is still a pull request. And I would like to keep up to date as the upstream build root package that I added with this contribution. Thank you a lot for your attention.